Girafa is approaching the back rope and let's see if they're about to go. Yes, the Mossa is valid and Torre and Civetta and Chiocciola are off to a strong start followed by Selva and Onda and Pantera as we come to the first San Martino curve. Torre takes a good turn followed by Chiocciola and Selva. Now we're at the straightaway across in front of the Palazzo Pubblico. You can see the children of the Contrade waving their fazzoletti or their neck scarves. At the first Casato we have Torre in the lead followed by Chiocciola who now overtakes Torre. Scompiglio is riding Violenta da Claudia, a magnificent horse and now he's showing us what she can do. He's slowing down a bit as he comes to the second San Martino curve and Chiocciola is followed by Onda. Onda now takes the second San Martino curve and starts to speed up his mount a little bit. Yes, Onda overtakes Chiocciola as we come to the second Casato curve, followed by, well, he's leaving everyone in the dust, shall we say, but Onda is now taking Tabacco, this horse now ridden by Amsicora, around the Fonte Gaia and approaching the third and final San Martino curve. The other horses now have all slowed down a bit. They've all slowed down because it's not the jockey's intent to run the horses ragged, shall we say. They need to conserve their energy for the final palio race and strategically see how they handle the curves and how they handle the mossa. So as we have the third Casato curve, Onda with Tabacco, ridden by Amsicura, takes the third of six prove for this July Palio. Thank you for staying tuned with Palio Live and we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao, buona serata a tutti.